I still feel like, you know, it's not real. And, you know, it's still kind of hard for me to swallow and things like that. You know, that's why just being here is really a humbling experience and just, you know, knowing that he's really gone. A great young man, you know, he had a future. He would have been an NFL prospect himself. I mean, he's just a great young man. And, uh, it's just hard to see, see this happen. So. How close were you? Uh, we were real close, you know. I used to talk to him before uh, a lot of their games like, this year, and you know he was just um, he used to always hit me up. I used to always hit him up. You know, keep your head up, keep working. You know he was a leader on that team, and uh, he will be missed. He was a great person, first and foremost. Like he was a guy that you enjoyed being around. He was a great friend. He was a great teammate, and on top of that, he was a, he was a great football player, and he he loved to play the game, and he loved to play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Well, how I'd like to be him to be remembered is from a standpoint that the, the guy was just a, he was a great competitor, he was a great human being, he was somebody that could, could make you smile, make you laugh, uh, and make you laugh, and um, he's somebody that, uh, you know, I'm going to miss dearly. You know, uh, I, I coached the punt returners, and he was a punt returner, and I also wore number six in, in college, so I wore the same number. Um, but again, it's just it, it's just who he was and how he appreciated life, but then also how he appreciated people and how he wanted to just do other things to, to make everybody else's life a little bit better. And that's the thing that uh, was so special about him.